long story short, through a series of unfortunate events, my license has been suspended. Yes, I see that here. Right, well, I was hoping I could get a refund for the time that I won't be a lawyer. Now, that's only fair, right? I'm sorry, Mr. McGill, it doesn't work like that. We don't refund for unused malpractice insurance. <sighs> but it's a, it's a lot of money for nothing. I understand it seems that way, but if one of your clients decides they want to bring a suit against you, this continues your coverage. That's the thing. My clients, they love me. I mean, they would never bring a suit against me. I'm extremely lovable. I can see that, but it's company policy. What about we put the insurance on hold? And then if someone were to try to sue me, which they won't, then we just uh, kick that old policy back into gear. I understand your situation, I do, but there are rules preventing us from stopping and starting coverage. And I regret to inform you that when your license is reinstated next year, because of the suspension, your premiums are going to go up considerably. How considerably? Um, looks like roughly 150%. God. We could help you, but we just can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard. Very, very hard. I'm just having a rough time. I just need a break. Just one break. And I know you, I know you can't do anything. I'm getting run out on this community service and I'm getting ripped off left and right and my car won't start. <laughs> my gal is disappointed in me and my brother. <laughs> my brother is sick and he's alone. I spent years caring for him and now he hates me. It's the only family I got left, and he hates me. He hates my guts. Is this your brother Charles? And I pretend not to care, but he's my brother. How can I not? He's mentally ill. He's, he's holed up in a house with no electricity. He's working by the light of gas lanterns. What? He's making mistakes with his clients. He's mixing up numbers on important documents. He, he, he had a complete mental breakdown at the bar hearing. Your brother, he had a breakdown in court? It's in the transcripts. <laughs> I, I'm not worried. I'm just, if he screws up with one more big client, it's just gonna destroy him. No, I don't. Don't write. What are you writing? No, don't write. I, I didn't mean to say that. I don't want him to get in trouble with you guys because of me. I, right. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. You're not gonna do anything, are you? I, I wouldn't worry about it, Mr. McGill. Uh, please feel better. I'm sorry. Just for, uh, forget. Sorry, sorry. What's up? Hey, uh, this is my kid. My mom just called. You're not supposed to be on the phone. I know, I know, but she's sick. She called pneumonia at daycare. She's in the hospital. Please, can I go? Sure, you can go, but you're not getting credit. Oh, come on. 
on, can I just go and come right back? I have to get my hours done this week. Judge says so. Judge told you, huh? Sounds like that's on you. Hey, buddy, you want to get out of here? How much is it worth to you? What? To ditch this. How much? Leave me alone, yo. Come on, you want to get to your deal or what? Man, I was just trying to see my sick kid. <laughs> You're trying to sell something you shouldn't have to someone who shouldn't be buying it. Hey, no judgments, all right? The man's got to make a living. I'm just saying the way you make yours rhymes with mug mealer. Hey, what are you, a knock? No, I'm the guy who's going to get you out of here and let you keep your hours. <laughs> yeah? yeah? How you going to do that? Let me worry about the how, OK? You just 700 bucks and you're gone. I don't have 700 bucks. And you got a couple grand in your sock. 700 bucks. You can get me out of here. I, you can do what you got to do. OK, go pick up trash. Go on. The hell's this? Resting. Uh, hurt my back. Get up. Nope. My back's killing me. Suit yourself. You're not getting your hours. I'm pretty sure you're gonna give me my hours. Oh, yeah? How do you figure that? Because if you don't, I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, smart guy, but you signed a waiver. Signed a waiver with the city. But I'm not suing the city. I'm suing you, personally. You can't do that. Buddy. This is the land of the free and the home of the lawsuit. I sure as shooting can. And you know what? Uh, I think I'll bring that guy in with me and make it a class action thing. What's he got to do with it? You knowingly prevented him from visiting his child in the hospital. If that isn't intentional infliction of emotional distress, what is? That's crazy. That crazy hasn't even started. I can also sue you for failure to approve community service hours. That's a direct violation of your duties as an agent of the state of New Mexico. I'm only doing my job. And just for tickles, maybe I throw in failure to treat and mitigate damages suffered by me due to injuries sustained under your watch. Injury? My back. You're full of shit. The waiver clearly oh, that states... That waiver's gonna make Swiss cheese look solid. And in a personal lawsuit, it's a fart in the wind. You're never gonna win that. Maybe, maybe not. In order to find out, we got to do some math. Let's see. A lawyer's going to cost you about 90 bucks an hour. You're looking at 8 to 12 months of litigation minimum. I'll represent myself. Great. Bring it on. You got a car? Get a house? A pension? Kiss it all goodbye. Look, out here, you might be King Douche Nozzle, but in court, you are little people. Look, the judge and I will gladly spend the next five years in the courtroom. But for you, it's expensive. It's very, very expensive. It's third mortgage expensive. So I'm offering you a simple choice. You can go to your wife. You can explain to her you're about to lose your job, your pension, whatever pinhole of a reputation you've got at the bowling alley on Glow Ball Sundays. Or let my friend here visit his sick daughter in the hospital, and you can let me rest my back on this sacred now litter-free New Mexico soil. Oh, and we keep our hours.